Simple Solutions. That's what we got for you today. If you've been rocking with us, you know what's up. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to get into some juice, right? We're going to talk a little bit about expectations and unmet expectations. We're going to talk about what it's like in the bedroom if it's unsatisfactory. That's a word. <laughs> <laughs> um, and much, much more. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Welcome back. Another episode of Summoning Up with the Summoners. It's your boy, Damon and Katoya. We are in the building today. Simple solutions coming your way. We're here to help. We're here to help. As always. If it's your first time with us for Simple Solutions, we get a chance to dive around on the internet looking for people who are looking for relationship advice. And it's a lot of people. A lot of people go to the World Wide Web and be like, hey, what y'all think about this? Um, I'm having a problem. We need help. Um, give us insight and we do that so sit back and enjoy yourself if you know what's up you know what's going down but before we do anything we always got to tell you thank you thank you thank you um this is episode 101 wow 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 we don't get to 100 um just easily nah. a lot of time a lot of effort and energy tears sweat um you know, close spats. <laughs> a lot of things have went into this podcast. It's true. And we appreciate y'all rocking with us. we thank you guys so much. <laughs> you know, you start out with something and mm -hmm. then people are like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then mm -hmm. there's a few of you just still going, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You too. You know, we we've appreciate that. A, we've got a, a brainstorming session coming up this week. I know. We're excited. Get into, what's next in the kitchen? Crazy. You know, what's next in the kitchen? Getting into year two of the podcast. Mm. You only can level up. Dang. And that's what we're going to do. Cray. <laughs> They Let, still say that? Uh, no, they don't. They don't say that at all. Dang. I, I was at a show they and they were dang. raising a roof in Florida. I was like, we're raising a Who roof. Who said raise the roof? Nope. They were raising the roof. And I, I like, like it. No, I, I respect it. There's something about. They were Gen Z though. I, I don't like, care. There's something about getting, first of what all, the same clothes I wore when I was 10 are in Target right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing is old. It's about confidence. Confidence. Okay? And I appreciate getting older and still loving old things. Sure. Like crunk. Sure. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, there were many. Actually, don't say that one. <laughs> Crunk. So a lot of hard sounds in that word. Crunk. Crunk. Let's get it. Crunk a bum. Huh? Something like that. Oh, anyway, uh, then this dancer. Is, is that what she said? Oh, she, said, let's she, get said crunk? she says a lot of words. She, says a lot. she says hateration. Dan hateration and dancery. <laughs> it's a lot. We love you, Mary. Mary. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, up my up goodness. Let's get into yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. She gets all anyway, up in that thing. all that I say, be you people. <laughs> be you people. If, especially if you're with us and you're the 35 plus crew. Like, something's getting real seasoned and sweet about this 35 Facts. plus team. Facts. I was listening you know? to a 2000s playlist. I was like, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Old school beats. <laughs> I just created my feel good playlist. Uh, oh, it's full of like mm, 3LW. Yeah. No, I'm just fancy. I mean, she is on there. <laughs> But, like, I'm like, no, I like this yeah. tweet. Yeah. You know, like, just. Chingy. Just, yeah. Oh, I like the way you do that. Yes. I want to go right there. Right there. I want to do that. All right. Hilarious. So, anyway, embracing who we are. Embrace. And ain't B nothing you, but comma, people. The end. Like and we're it. here to give it to you. I like it. But let's get back on track because I will take us away. <laughs> that was a tangent. I hope you enjoyed that. That was good <laughs> for the soul right and there. And I hope you feel good being old. Feel good okay. About older. Okay. We older and it's good. Simple solutions. Let's get to it. All right. When my husband wants me to get out the phone, he puts on a movie mm. and gets in the bed. Should I pay attention to his actions or am I tripping? I'm going to ask this again. Mm. When my husband wants me to get out the phone, he with someone else. It, yeah. So she's on the phone with somebody else. She's on the phone with somebody else. Mm -hmm. So when a husband wants to get out the phone, he put on a movie and gets in the bed. Mm. Should I pay attention to his actions or am I tripping? Simple solutions. <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah, you should pay attention. But he should also be more clear about what his expectations are. Y'all y'all ain't talking, man. Ain't talking. Simple solutions. We got to talk. What you got? Got to talk? We got to talk. I, first off, I just want to say that uh, clearly this must be a pattern because he has created a system and a routine to be like, all right, boo. All and right. she's probably accurate. She knows yeah. that that's yeah. why he's doing that. Yeah. Do you think that he would have admit to that? <laughs> do I think he would admit? He'd be to like, it? no, like, yeah, like, yeah, I put on that movie because I want you to get on the phone. No, I don't think he would admit. I don't to think it. so either. I don't think and I say that it. because this is we have some unspoken things like this. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, David came home from a long week away, you know, mm -hmm. been away, mm -hmm. and I went over to some friend's house. Yep. And I was like, it was late. I didn't get back till late. 
True. But I knew he was getting back in. But, you know, I was like, it's all good. I'm still going to hang out with my friends because I'm still trying to, like, balance hanging balance. out with friends, yes. being by myself, Damon. You know, yeah. kids are going, yeah. doing all the things, right? Yeah. And I was like, I should get home because I know Damon really wants me to be home mm. because he just got home. He's been looking forward to coming home mm. and being with me and seeing me and, mm. you know, me too. But I know he probably had a unspoken expectation to like see me. Mm. That's what you he were thinking? got home. I did think that. <laughs> okay. Carry on. Am I wrong? Am I, are you wrong that I had expectation to see you? Yeah. Like you were like anticipating like coming home and like being welcomed by me. No, that's not, that's not a, that's accurate. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah. So were you a little disappointed when I wasn't? No, I wasn't. I was excited that you were with your BFFs. All right. You're yeah. a good man. Yeah. I mean I was I mean I came home, I was tired. I was well listening to an audio book in the bed. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't even know. If he <laughs> up or low not. light low light. Yeah. So I was, I was like, I should get home because I think he really wanted yeah. to have this, you know, embracing moment of coming back. I home. no, I hundred percent agree and affirm what you're saying. I do think, if I'm being honest, that if it was something less less um important for lack of better words mm. uh but i was like oh these are the bffs who you don't see as much as you probably would like to so on and so forth so i was like no be out have a good time i was kicking back you know things yeah, like that I was so like, yeah i'm just doing nothing yeah i see okay yeah, i just, just be, want just to be fair and be honest i say just that be because this scenario just made me really think about like the unspoken tensions sure, that sure, sure. exist yep. and, that aren't communicated because of course damon and katoria are gonna tell you communicate but mm -hmm. we too have moments where things are not necessarily communicated and we just kind of fall in line and yep. know and hear the expectations yep. the hope desires or you know yeah you've been on the phone with so-and-so for so long it's time to get off like i would like to talk to you my wife yeah so you do need to pick up on those unspoken cues, Fair. but don't be afraid to address them. So simple solutions, y'all need to talk about this mm -hmm. this pattern of mm -hmm. behavior that y'all yeah. have. And then you, as a wife, she <clears throat> needs to be a little bit more mindful of her conversations. Right, and in that possibly. communication, mm -hmm. right? It was like, hey, but it would be great if we could, like, let's compromise on a time when everybody's yeah. phone calls or phone time yeah. is kind of over things like that. It's true. Um, random. I want to ask you here since you brought up the, the okay. coming home from a okay. trip okay. because there's probably a bunch of people who listen, who work and travel is picking back up for mm. careers and things like that. And it's picking up for us. Was there any, with me coming back home specifically this time around, you know, because you did a great job cleaning the house. Did you have any of that thought process? Thanks, I did. On, I was like, oh, I'm going to clean this house with my husband, man. <laughs> I was like, I got to clean. One, I need to clean it. A. Two, I want to make sure he comes back to a nice, clean house. <laughs> And I know that he would like, you know, the bed made. Uh, I cleaned the bathroom. Uh, I swept the floor. I got on my hands and knees and cleaned the carpet. <laughs> At least, no, I can only clean the carpet, like a corner of it. To, I think I have to let the rug go. But I'm you just saying, I like, I even trimmed the bushes. Ooh, <laughs> out here, people. She was out here. I was like, this house going to be nice. I washed the dishes. Yeah. I sprayed all the countertops. Yeah. Like, I, I was like, oh, I mopped. Yeah. First of all, I do not mop often. We don't like, mop we, often. We're just sweet. We're not a mopping ha nah, heavy house. Nah, the floors look good. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But I, so yeah, no, I did. I was like, that would make sure the house clean. Came I'm in. glad you we realized could. that. I did. I definitely realized it. When you come into your house. How does it smell? smell and you been gone? It smell fine to me. Good. When you come in from a long trip out, I'll right? I'm some new plug you in. You want to. <laughs> You want that? You want to walk into your castle and, and like, then, home sweet home. I know, but then he come in this room. Uh, we're going to finish this room today. Shut up. What? I did eight other rooms. What? Today. What What? What did I Living say? Living room. What did kitchen, I say? Bathroom. Bedroom. Yes. And what did I say? I said, hey. Yeah, we. Whatever. Okay. Okay. It's, and then I just wanted to be like, but ain't you here doing the week? Can't you do it? No, I'm working. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we all work in these right, streets. We got tons of tapes. Uh, so clearly, we miss each other. <laughs> Clearly. All uh, right. Any more on that? No, that's it. That's all, all right. Like so if your spouse's sex becomes unsatisfactory, what do you do? Because I need some tips. Mm, simple solutions. Never say I. First off. You never say you. <laughs> it's just yeah. so. If your spouse's sex becomes unsatisfactory, why? What? <laughs> Whose perspective is this? And why is this so I unsatisfactory? I write these. When I get these on the internet, I write them just how they are. And I was I was so ready to see what you're gonna say about that. If your spouse is sex, do you really think that a woman what? can have unsatisfactory sex? Absolutely. Why? Absolutely. What makes? 
Absolutely. If they are, first off, is like just like sex, sitting there and sex not ain't no effort. I can't speak. For, I'm not gonna speak for every man, but I speak for a lot of men. Sex is not only physical for men uh, specifically; it's also, you know, emotional, mental. One, if they ain't giving no effort and unenthused off top. You oh, already, okay. you're already so, like, you're for not that. in it. Okay, that's fair. So off, off, off top. So you need the, you need the engagement. Yeah, what you doing now? So really, the woman's hyping you up and her, ooh, her, the, the, the. I'm just trying to understand. You think, you think a woman can't suck at sex? You're thinking only physically in the sense of gratification. There's many other elements that go into sex. It's true. Besides you're the right. physical I penetration. Mean, because there's a, there's a, there's a connectingness right yeah. there's a we in sync yeah. there's a movement there's you know? a turn wanting to turn the other person on as well it's true. i'm just you suck in all those categories right. i just think about myself and i know i'm pretty amazing so <laughs> no, just, <laughs> but i imagine yes that is true because i'm well the reason why i said Go that ahead. mostly because i was like who wrote this like oh, i yeah, assume I that it was the Woman. woman that's probably fair but i don't assumption. think mm. I, yeah I, I don't know i don't know whose perspective it is i'm just intrigued on yeah, the perspective it's intriguing. Yeah, yeah. because i do feel like unfortunately men can be more unsatisfactory because a woman takes longer to reach peaks a woman mm. uh, you know uh i feel like we need a little bit more than a man needs in sex for it to be unsatisfactory on a physical sense for yeah sure. like you know patience and you know make sure i reach mine before you reach your, you know those type of yeah yeah <laughs> concepts i was just real intrigued on whose perspective mm. this was but the real problem my first problem is the blame yes <laughs> also i just found it very funny it made it sound like it was a car like they yeah. brought back i'm sorry this i no longer want this <laughs> we actually just <laughs> got a new car in there i there was this closet it was like dang it it had a title, but it was like, you may not bring this back because you don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> that's I was not like, out. This is as It is. was like, no, it don't work that way. Mm-mm. You'll have to go through a whole same process as if is. you think you don't want this car tomorrow. His sex game is as is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. So I just like, I think that it's a way that you, the problem, first problem I say, simple solution is, is it needs, sex is a we, it's not yeah. a you. Definitely. Um, and then you need to figure out ways to like bring them back into this. If yeah. you feel like they're not attentive or if they're rushing or if Let them like, know what you like. Uh, sinking isn't together. Let them know what you like. Yeah. I don't think enough couples talk, talk about, about specifically in, in, in their sex life about what they do like or specifically what they don't like. You know, maybe you like foreplay and it's been down. Maybe you don't and they are trying to do a lot of it. Right? Maybe you want more Biden. Whatever yeah. it is, I think you feel like you let feel them know. Like, oh, like you're exposed. Yeah. When in saying your preferences to someone who's mm. been doing your doing it this way for so long, sure, sure. You now now it's like, why you like that? <laughs> well, why you into that? Well, why you want that? Well, what's wrong with what we was doing? It ain't can't think like unsatisfactory. that. Unsatisfactory. It's it. Well, it is kind of unsatisfactory, <laughs> and I want to change. But you can't it. think like that though, for real. No, your hair I mean, change, your clothes change, your music interests change. What are you talking about? Yeah, we just had a very long conversation about that this morning about like just changing. Cool, yeah, so I say that's my thoughts. You got no. Nope, we're on the same page. We two yeah, for two. Like you, we need to. <laughs> your spouse, us, your spouse says, and we need to figure out ways that makes this more mm-hmm. like enticing and enjoyable for I mean, both need of to us. Get online together. So that's go to a shop together. <laughs> okay. Come on now. Come on now. All right. Up next, should I ask my wife out on dates, or is that no longer a thing because we're married now? Mm, simple solutions. Should I ask my wife out on dates, or is that no longer a thing because we're married now? You know, Ooh, date nights. So. Date nights are big. Go back and listen to episode whatever it was. We had an episode on date nights. Uh, simple solutions. You gotta you gotta date your spouse. You gotta date your boo. Um, is absolutely essential. Uh, for a lot of reasons so that's my first top simple solutions you don't need to ask her on a date though no i was intrigued on the language, yeah, the language. i, was intrigued I on agree the, with you on dating on but like, dating hey babe would you like to go out yeah like, that's, that's kind of weird i mean <laughs> but it's not because it's actually kind of cute it's, it's like it went down well you know sure. one thing i would love for you to do oh yeah i would Talk love for you to like 
I mean, I'm kind of into the tell me how you want it type of stage. So I would love for you to like mm-hmm. put out my dress. Okay. Or like buy me a new outfit. Okay. And be like, we're going here tonight. Oh. Like not on a calendar. Mm. Just like I want to just like mm-hmm. surprise. Okay. We're going here tonight. Locked I in. made a reservation. Mm. Here's your dress. Noted. I would love that. Noted. And like to me, that's a step up then to ask for a date. You're sure. like. No, I like clear the schedule. I see there's nothing on here. This is what we're doing tonight. Mm-hmm. Or you can even say it like, hey, tonight I got something special. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with our this calendar. What we're doing. With our calendar, we got to say something. <laughs> so I just, so I think like, you don't need to be like, I would like, hey, babe, you yeah. know. Like, we're not 18. Yeah, you can either like make it a routine, like yeah. we go out every Friday night, yeah. or add a little spice and do something different, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, whatever. So I, but like, ask my wife out you don't need to ask her out that's just a weird statement to me because yeah. you're married yeah yeah but if you want to add the novelty of that sure i think that's cute yeah there's some novelty to that there whether it's uh a secret note mm. or you know mysterious text i saw a tweet uh i saved it because i thought it was i thought it was funny but because he worded it interesting but it was really the the sentiment was send the send your boo the calendar invite Right. And they're like, yo, it's kind of like the dress on the bed. It's like, oh, oh, 830. OK, here. Oh, OK. Boom, boom. Right. Type of thing where you think like I, I appreciate the intentionality. Right. Yeah. Uh, for you to plan, for you to research, to find a spot, you know, what I mean, to send the invite. So it's kind of got some of that spontaneous. Right. So it gives going back to my bigger message continue to date your spouse yeah it continues to fight out of that mundane and that monotony right with fire and that spunk and that magic right to keep that burning so we've got uh we've got one or two date nights coming up here in this month of june that i'm excited about July. one just us yep that's true too um that's how calendar works one with the couple and one by ourselves so keep fighting for that date night yo let's keep going with that simple solutions my wife got real upset and low key slapped me. Mm. I just left for the night. What should I do, y'all? I'm hot. Ooh, he he wrote this in all caps. I want you to know this very clearly. My wife got real upset and low key slapped me. I just left for the night. I think she hot. What she should me. I do, y'all? I'm hot. One big dog. One point for the restraint and the and the wisdom to walk, walk away. away. It's true. Like oh, gotcha. and I. Like, and I, and I ain't even mad. I'm going to speak for myself. I'm not even mad of you getting the hotel, going to your homie house, wherever you went. We're going to assume the best for everything, right? That you got a hotel, whatever. You was like, I can't be there out of wisdom and safety, et cetera, right? So that's that's one. Simple solutions. You get one point for that, big dog. Agreed. Two. Real, real big points. I just did marital counseling the other day um, because uh, – because of my job, I have a lot of titles. Okay, I was waiting on what you were about to say because I didn't know. I didn't know where she was going with that, y'all. She, I was like, I wasn't. I was just like, there. dude, you have to walk away. <laughs> like you are just falling into this. Like I was like, listen, mm. I'm about housing. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I do housing, y'all. Like, this is getting I, deeper. He's like, I ain't at fault. And I'm like. I'm not I'm not that. I'm not a counselor. But realistically, I was just like, you have to walk away. Mm. You know, like this is no it good. It was something similar to this, a little physicality? No, not no, not really. Oh, okay. like just mostly but just words. I need to walk away, it things are really upset. You're just rallying yourself up. So mm. good job walking away. I don't know the scenario, of course. We don't, don't know, know the scenario. Who's right, who's wrong, but you walked away. She clearly well, was extremely hot. Extremely hot. Um, well, she wasn't right in the fact that you put your hands on No, she you wasn't. Just, and I think like and and so simple solutions, no one should be putting their hands period. on each other. Boom, let's start uh, and then two, good job walking away. Ooh. Three, good job like just stepping away for the night. Come like, on this now. is a very heated situation. Very and heated. then lastly, I would just say there's a firm like Damon has mm-hmm. just done such a great job creating a tone of how we argue. I, I literally say the way that we fight should be recorded. <laughs> like I think it's so <laughs> it's annoyingly good. <laughs> I'm like, gosh. So, I believe. Like, it just becomes like a darn talk show between us sometimes. And I'm naturally not a person who wants to do that. Uh, I mean, I am naturally. I'm about to say you are. You're right. I am. But I would get hot. And if you were to feed into my hotness, 
I we probably would have done slapped each other once or twice. We've you said, know what I'm said saying? A few times. I mean, Damon would he's not physical, but like I probably would. It would probably be me. But <laughs> but he set a tone so well in our relationship where we we don't call each other out our names. It, it is like it is known. Like and if we step over that, then it's gone really far. So there's a tone here that mm. he need that you need that this guy gotta needs address. to go back and they say gotta address it. We do not hit. Yeah, we gotta address that. We do not. We keep our hands to ourselves. I understand you were frustrated, but that would that like that's almost like the authority card. We will not do that. <laughs> we like it's almost like you may child, not. It's childlike behavior, and it deserves childlike it's, talk. Yeah, you keep your hands to yourself. I keep my hands to myself. You are responsible for, you know, like it's like straight, like yeah. a little, like I feel like that's the way it needs to be handled. A, a, a very strong conversation of this is not acceptable yeah, needs to up. take place. The, the boundaries and the the clear, yeah. the clear communication, the steady, yeah, serious like, tone. You know, like no, I'm your husband, I'm your daddy right yeah. now. <laughs> like, we ain't sugarcoat <laughs> nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, again, you know, going back to the assumptions with um, the sex life earlier with the guy, right? Things like that. Like statistically, it's, I, I don't know the numbers, but we could, we all know they are drastically one sided with men with domestic violence, right? And let's not get it twisted. Women, you know, can be um, uh, on the aggressive side with domestic violence. We know this already. So if you want to, if you that want Johnny a healthy. If you if you want a healthy relationship, right? You don't want this. You don't want this. You don't want this to ever happen again. You don't want either one to really get to this moment where the conflict gets that heavy, right? This thing's like here. So having clear communication, clear boundaries, right? Clear um, remorse, you know, what I mean, is important here because, um, yeah, I mean, I. <laughs> He was so high. I don't know where he was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him. The, he was at a, a Holiday Inn, and he was his own Facebook group. Y'all, I'm hot. What do I do? And shout out to the, the community. They, they were definitely giving him some good stuff because they could have went back and been stupid, but they weren't. Um, you gotta say those boundaries. Gotta yeah, have it's communication. I mean, she must have been real upset. I was actually talking to a friend who got really upset at, at her spouse the other day, mm. and it was bad. Yeah. You know, it was like I was so mad, like it just riled me up. But I also think, as always in all conflict, there you have to be willing to take responsibility. Everybody, gotcha. even like no one should have to take responsibility for being slapped. But like, did you provoke? Is there something that you could have not done? You know, like. Everyone needs to just think through ways that that scenario could have played out differently and how you could help. Because realistically, yeah, we need to help somebody. If she has anger issues, Mm. we need to, you know, it's, it's, I I believe it is helpful for him to figure out ways to de-escalate, figure out ways to not provoke her, figure out ways to like kind of cater to this. If this is something that she struggles with getting that riled up Mm. for. Yeah, it's good. Got a few more here before we get out of here. Um, let's see if we get one, two more in real quick. Okay. Um, am I crazy for thinking my husband should want to cook and clean since he knows that I hate doing it? Simple solutions. Am I crazy for thinking my husband should want to cook and clean since he knows that I hate doing it? Simple solutions. Yeah, you crazy. <laughs> And the main reason why I think she's crazy is because mm. she says a lot of uh, things. She says, am I crazy for thinking? So you're only thinking Boom. that my husband should want to, which mm. means there's limited communication on should asking him to. to do. You are just saying, I don't like it, so you should. Mm-hmm. And nobody really loves doing those things. No. I mean, unless they I, do love it. I, so if he don't love it, then he probably don't want to either. Right. So therefore, you have to discuss like... Well, okay, I don't really like doing this, so can you take the dishes? Can you make sure that you we do gotta, the trash? Like, we neither one we of us want to do this. We got some habits and routines, yeah. And so what are we going to do together <laughs> to we gonna, make this better Or we're going to increase our grocery budget. We're going to lessen our grocery budget yeah. and increase our Uber Eats budget. Yeah. Like, it's, it's we're doing something. Something got to give, so you just need a new plan. But you finna get into unnecessary spats and unmet expectations. 100%. Because she, cause is, uh, she, um, she's all mental. She's all in the head of how I'll we're perceiving it. She wants to cook and clean since he knows, that's an assumption, 
uh, to a degree, that I hate doing it. Um, we're gonna, we don't know if they have kids or not. It's just two grown folks in this conversation right here. Um, safe to say, safe to assume that he probably doesn't love cooking and cleaning. Not even on a gender role, but I think you hit on the head. What human really loves those tasks? Unless they Coming do. home from, unless they do. Coming home from work, commute, you get home, you just want to chill. We know what it I is. I feel like doing that. You know what I'm saying? The reason it's- why I practically <laughs> deep clean my house deep this week the last time I did all that? Probably Ooh, not recently. Well, goodness. No. It's not tough. all at one go. It's not tough with children running around. That's for mm-hmm. sure. So, things. yeah, you gotta, y'all got to gotta create some systems. Yeah. I'm not mad. I know if I was a single man, I've said this on the on the podcast, if I was a single man now, right now, 2022, I would have I would have a couple days that I know I was going to cook, you know, et cetera. But I would have already planned out, budgeted days of eating out, delivery, et cetera, et cetera. Like, I just know what it is. So I'm not finna fight myself. I ain't even gonna feel like a failure. Wednesday's <laughs> not the day. Either I meal prepped or I'm eating out because I know I'm already gonna be We're already Why would I stress myself? No. Yep. No, baby. Yep. Simple solutions. I think we did it. Oh, That's my it? goodness. I think we did. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. All we'll right. say those for another time those around here. Those were good here. Shit, he, he knows I hate doing it. You better communicate. Y'all better come up with a plan. This is <laughs> teamwork. Team, team, team. We cook spaghetti on Mondays. That's stretched to Wednesday. Yeah. And if you don't like this meal prep that I done made, then you're welcome to do something different. But this makes it easy for me. That's what it is right there. Stuff like that. Teams. Cool. Let's get out of here. What we should do? What you mean? What should they do? They Good should up. follow us. Come on now. Talk to On them. Instagram. Hey. At Sum It Up Sumners. S U M. N E R and uh with an S. And um yeah, and like engage with us, talk to us. And you should also like, share, and subscribe to all the things. Just click the link in our bio and you'll get even more connected with us. So thanks for listening. We appreciate y'all. This is us. <laughs> Hope you liked it. <laughs> Bye. Beautiful briny sea. Man, if we don't talk about nothing else on this podcast, mm-hmm. we're gonna tell you about these flavors, okay? Seasonings. Spices, sugars, mm. your dry artisan goods are met with beautiful briny sea. So you can definitely order online. You can stop by the store here locally in Atlanta. But you should be ready to not only spice up your marriage, but spice up your meals. Yes. Okay? That is right. They are our sponsor of the podcast. And by supporting them, you're really supporting us. Uh, and they definitely, we love them. They're all up in our pantry. The kids love them. Sprinkles. I mean, they've got so much versatility. Uh, they're nationally renowned. So check them out. Yeah. Beautiful Bonnie C. You can follow them on Instagram as well. Um, they're great. Yeah. Appreciate y'all listening.